This is a very complex space. We have four pumps going up here, which is gonna give us roughly 28,000 gallons of water pumped up into this pond. It's not every day that we get a water truck in early December, late November. We don't necessarily know if we're gonna be back to finish this thing. We are gonna build a pondless waterfall. The best way to learn anything is to teach it. We are rocking and rolling on this pond. Well, can you tell there's a little bit of white stuff laying on the ground right now and you can see my breath It is a little cold out here We are out here in Beloit, Illinois just south of the Wisconsin border actually and we got dumped on over the Thanksgiving holiday Hopefully you guys had a fantastic Thanksgiving break. I know we did but we are back at it out here Unfortunately, it's a little colder than when we left so it kind of makes for a little rough conditions But we are still out here Our goal today is to kind of dig this basin going on pretty deep for what we normally do because we want to have like a sunken patio type feel to this. So let me spin you guys around and show you what we got going on. It's another day and it's a little bit chillier than it was yesterday. We are all bundled up and ready to go and hitting it pretty hard this morning. It's a little slow just because the ground's still frozen and we're just trying to work our way around all the snow and, and all the ground being frozen. We're just trying to fine tune everything. We got our layer of sand down on the bottom and we got our fabric down as you can see down here. So right now, Chris is over there grabbing the roll of liner. We're gonna pull the roll of liner over here, roll it on out, cut what we need and then throw this liner in, get our fabric, another layer of fabric on top of the liner, our aqua blocks and then we are gonna start backfilling those aqua blocks. So as you guys can see, it's a little chilly out here. I think the reel feels like three right now. So a little hard to talk. So hopefully you guys can keep up with us throughout the day. I know towards the end of the week, it's gonna be in the forties. So wish us luck and we'll be able to get through this day. warmer than it was yesterday and I am thankful for that because yesterday we weren't even here for a half hour and our fingers and toes were really cold. We really could not even feel them. So glad that today is a little bit better. Unfortunately, we're going to go from one side of the spectrum to the other side. Today it's going to be in the upper 40s and you know what that means? All this snow that you see here is going to melt, which is going to turn all this into a sloppy mess. So first thing this morning, Chris and I see right there. Him and I are going to start staging a bunch of materials just right here. That way we kind of minimize a mess that or hopefully avoid today, if not minimize it. So we're gonna kind of stage all our super sacks, all of our good old boulders that we have lined up all along the backside of the property. We're gonna stage all that stuff over there. And then we are gonna start rocking this entire area in. So we just gotta fix our overlap here this morning. We gotta tuck that liner in and then we're gonna start rocking in the front side of the pond and then we are gonna get to it. So hopefully we'll be able to make some pretty good progress today. I know Brian's gonna be out here in the next hour or so. Hopefully by the time we get everything staged, he'll be out here. Hey everybody, can you tell it's cold out? Yeah, that uh, stuff behind me isn't like just the sun super bright, that's snow on the ground. This is the first time I'm back out at the project in Beloit since I laid out the design. So it's been definitely over a month since I've been out here. Chris, Ed, Keith out in Arizona came out here. They put in a solid two weeks. We had to pull off for two weeks because of Thanksgiving and finishing up another job, but we're back out here now. But I'm super excited because this is the first time I've seen all the progress up close and personal and I'll tell you what the first things out of my mouth were this is awesome this is such a awesome awesome project I'm excited to be out here today we're gonna go start rocking in that reservoir my ultimate goal if weather permits and it doesn't look good like all the snow and things frozen but if weather permits my goal would be to at least get a pump running for these guys it's just something that they can look at through the winter I would just be great to have them see something especially because it's so close to the house you guys let's do a quick 
review of all the stuff that's gotten done. All right, here we go. So this is my view when I saw it for the first time. The first thing that I see is that formal wall. I really love those walls. And then Chris had been talking about the stepping stones for a while, the stepping stones leading out to what that future fire pit area is gonna be. It's truly amazing. Just absolutely love it. This area here, there's gonna be some urns put in here. Looks like this area over here, we'll probably get one, maybe another one in here and another one here. And that water will be able to push out and kind of move through those stepping stones. My favorite rock of all time, that big tall guy there, every bit of five feet tall. So a big drop coming right down into that deep spot of the pond, deep water right off of the fire pit area over here, deep water right off the patio. And then you can see Chris Z over here getting this liner ready for the overlap. They've got a big 4,500 gallon reservoir down in here, vault set up for the plumbing, et cetera, et cetera. And then they're going to get a really nice waterfall coming from there this way towards their house, which is just going to be incredible. So we're going to start working on that stuff today. We'll see how far we get. We've got, this is a very complex space because we've got a waterfall that's got to come over. We have stairs that have to come in and we have stairs that have to go out and we need to hide these pump vaults over in here. So a lot going on in this small space, but nothing we can't handle. doing here is leveling off our weir. So we have an extremely lot wide weir right here. It's almost 12 feet wide from that side to this side. Big reason we're doing that is because we have four pumps going up here. We have four 9PLs, which is give us roughly 28,000 gallons of water pumped up into this pond. Two are gonna feed a waterfall over there. One's gonna feed some urns and another one's gonna feed some miscellaneous jets that kind of shoot around from here and there. So with a 28,000 gallon per hour waterfall all coming over this last area here, we go back to some of our formulas. Let's say we want 3,000 gallons of water per foot width. So if I had a seven foot wide waterfall, I could do 21,000 gallons. We have 28,000. So let's figure in a nine foot wide waterfall. And I have a 12 foot wide weir right here. The thing we're looking at right now is how far down do we dig this to compensate for how much water is going to come over. So my water level set off of these areas over here and I drop this thing down three inches, how much higher will the water back up due to the pressure of 28,000 gallons of water coming over an eight foot wide waterfall? And this really comes down to an educated guess. I don't even wanna build an eight foot wide waterfall. I think an eight foot wide waterfall right here is aesthetically gonna look a little weird. I think what we'll do is probably do like a six foot wide waterfall here and then maybe split it with a two foot wide coming in over in here because just one eight foot wide sheet's gonna be ridiculous. So we're gonna set that down three inches lower than water level compensate for an inch of gravel and or stone on top of the liner in this area hoping that the water level doesn't come up more than two inches it would be safer to actually dig this down deeper i could dig this down five inches the problem with digging this down five inches is if the pond were to ever shut off then five six seven inches of water are going to come falling over this by gravity totally overflowing this giant reservoir and we don't have a reservoir big enough to handle five inches, six inches, seven inches of surface water over that pond. We do have enough for three inches. So that's what we're doing. Hopefully that makes sense. not every day that we get a water truck in the early December, late November time frame of year. But with this project that we're working on, we don't necessarily know if we're going to be back to finish this thing. Odds are we're going to kind of get as far as we can until the weather kind of forces us to quit. So we want to make sure that we get this reservoir nice and full to avoid any potential catastrophic stuff from happening. Basically the basin popping up out of the ground because it's empty and the hydrostatic pressure in the spring forces this thing out of the ground, even with, you know, 20 tons of boulders on top of it and everything locked 
keeping the place really good. So we're gonna go ahead and fill this thing to stay full throughout the winter. We've got a 6,200 gallon water truck out front, out at the street. We're gonna fill this 4,000 gallon basin and then ditch the other 2,000 in the bottom of the pond. We'll use it to rinse, we'll use it to fill our wetland whenever we get to that point, but pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool that, you know, we're still chugging away, trucking along out here late in the year. And it's, you know, partners like Aloha that comes out, brings us water and really awesome. Fortunately for us, it's not the middle of summer. So the water trucks tend to slow down a little bit. They're not servicing pool companies at all at this point in the year. So it's just nice that uh, we were able to get them on call. Literally called them yesterday at three o'clock and they were out here at 9 a.m. So big time thanks to them. And pretty cool that we're getting water out in the middle of uh, no, what feels like nowhere, late November, early December. So kind of what we got going on today. That was actually, that was a great way of you coming down that staircase that we completed today. Yeah. So what do you think? I mean, it's cool when we get to do these entrances into these reservoir areas. We know people aren't gonna be sitting down here all the time congregating, but it gives you a way to get in and out when you maintain this thing. You're down here scooping out all the leaf debris, but it's just really freaking cool seeing these stone staircases. Yeah, that's my favorite part about doing these water features is when we incorporate these stairs down into it and make it super interactive. Yeah. It's funny because when we were out here digging the basin and everything, the hole is massive. And it's funny when you start adding all the rock and stuff and how small and tight the area starts yep. to get. So we really have to pay attention, be super mindful on where we're placing rocks and making sure that we have enough space for the water movement and for enough area to walk down in here and get out of the basin. Right, which is it, which is why we dug all of this out. When If you guys remember earlier in the video when we were showing the excavation, you know, we've got all of these areas because we don't know if we're going to pull these rocks away from the excavated soil where the liner runs up vertical or if we're going to push them back. But we want to always want to make sure that we have that wiggle room for the creative freedom as we're starting to rock in you can see we're starting to rock this basin in kind of working our way back there is going to be a pathway leading across behind the reservoir here but we also wanted this pathway coming down in here it just looks so awesome and this waterfall is going to turn out absolutely incredible we've got four 9pl pumps so we have a boatload of water getting pushed over gosh almost about an eight foot wide span all right gang we are wrapping up for the day and for this episode we will be back so make sure you stay tuned and see if we can can actually get this thing up and running by the end of this year fingers crossed we don't know we'll see what mother nature has in store for us hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode tune in to the next week's episode to see what we're up to when we come back out after we get done with this weekend and we'll be back yeah.